Yeah. Mate, we did it. <laughs> we did it. MMA Live TV. What's up? <laughs> Podcast episode one. Episode one. Mate. YouTube as well. Shout out YouTube. Oh, shout out to the tube. Yeah. Uh, man, this is going to be good. Yeah. I've been thinking about this for a while. And it's, it's, a, good, it's a good time to start that as well. Mate, you know? It's what a time to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> man, I hate that damn cliche. Good album though. Shout out to Drake. Drizzy. <laughs> Drizzy. <laughs> Drizzy in the house. But, yeah. but for real... Um, it's going to be anything and everything MMA. Yeah. yeah. I think there's, there's going to be a lot of good fights in the UFC and Bellator, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. You know, it's going to be a good boxing fight this year. Tyson Fury. Yeah, Tyson Fury. Well, Tyson Fury is uh, in wrestling now. Is he wrestling? <laughs> yeah. Jeez, I need to figure that one out. Well, let's, just, let's just introduce him. Mate, bit Tyson more. Fury is doing anything and everything. He's getting that money, He's man. He's getting that, that money. He's getting that paper. He, he, uh, he went through, you know, a different life phase. Yeah, he, he, he was like a lot of And pressure. he came out of it saying, I need to get that cash. I got to get that, that cash. Let's <laughs> get that wrestling. He's on that now. George Masvidal uh, yeah. life, you know? Let's get that cash. Oh, yeah. So, what are we doing today? Oh, yeah. Firstly, salute. Oh, salute. That's right, man. You yeah, got to get on that proper 12. Ooh. Shout out to Conor McGregor. Proper Ooh. 12. Proper 12. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not Can bad. we get proper 12 in Australia? Yeah, well, this is shot in Australia. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Um, I think we can get prop tools in Australia. Have you have you drank it? Dan Murphy's? No, I don't. We could, we, we could look it up. Dan Murphy's my. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mate. We definitely definitely need to get get us hooked up. Yeah. That's for sure. Uh, so, so just to introduce, uh, sort of your background and in watching UFC. Yeah. Um, what's it like? Uh, my <laughs> background is. Uh, you know, keyboard warrior, couch fan, <laughs> thinks he knows it, but you know, I've, I've watched yeah. enough UFCs to, to to believe that I've got a good grasp yeah. of the sport. But you know, this this channel aims to you know provide a, a casual opinion, you know, yeah. mixed with a little yeah, bit so of that, substance. That, that's where I sort of come in. Um, I'll probably guess from time to time, but yeah, I'm I'm very much a casual MMA. Man, fan. who doesn't love the UFC? Yeah, who doesn't it, love it's a on good... fire at the moment. So, so like I'll just on trend, on trend, it's a vibe. <laughs> And what why what I like about it? So I'm, I'm a lifelong wrestling fan as well. So Ooh. in that, <laughs> we've yes, had, we've yes, had this that's chat. okay. Let's stick with it. Yeah, yeah. But I'm a lifelong wrestling fan. And yeah. I, what what I like about wrestling is the promotion part of it. Yep. So the build up and everything. And I, I think UFC is doing wrestling better than wrestling. They've definitely caught on well, and yeah. their marketing is is there, man. It's there. I think single handedly introducing into espn yeah. is essentially introducing a new distribution network yeah. but prior to that they they made a lot of strides and really it's a it's a media company it's yeah. an entertainment it's it's wwe just with real real you know it's what wwe it's not like this one it's wwe what it used to be yeah um yeah the rock stone cold that that was a the heyday of the wwe because they're all like large and life characters that were badass 100 percent. the badass characters are now in ufc conor mcgregor again khabib khabib you know, these are the characters that are just sort of yeah they're they're hitting the the mainstream that's what it is it is yeah. and you know we, the we, guy we were there connor versus khabib we were watching it at our local pub and it's gone off that was an intense fight and mate ufc 246 yeah. 246 january 2020 January 18th, 2020. The first card of the year. <laughs> first card of the year. Excited? Yeah. yeah this is Connor's, you know, this is a very important fight for Connor. So. It is. It's a piss week card, though. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Let's go through the oh, card. It's, it's all right. I thought that Mate. Piss week. Mate. We've got Holly let's, Holm let's, on there as well. Who? No, no, legitimately, let's, let's, let's go through the card, right? So yeah. it starts with Anthony Pettis. Yeah. Mate, Pettis needs a big 2020. Um, I think he last fought Nate. Yeah, last fought Nate. Nate Diaz, yeah. Very up and down. So he had a, he had a good good showing against Wonderboy. Yeah. Steve, Stephen Wonderboy. And that was a good fight, but if, if we're going to keep it 100, he was losing that fight. And that's the great thing about, you know, MMA and the UFC is that at any one time you have a punch's chance. So he really came back there, Superman punch. Yeah. Uh, you know, I won't lie. I'm, I'm not very familiar with this Carlos Diego Ferreira. I've heard good things. Mate, at 16 at 2... You're obviously not a chump. Yeah, no. So, you know, fair enough there. But, you know, Pettis, a name there. Claudia, Helda, I can't even pronounce that last name. Let me have a go. Get Helda. Uh, get, Claudia. Get, get Delha. Mate, whatever. Get Delha. Look, get Delha. I, I've, I've heard get of Delha. her. She, she, 
I, I, I'd say that I'm not as knowledgeable with with the women's division and probably need to catch up there. But she, yeah. she's she's been there. She's she had the uh, Ultimate Fighter. I don't I can't remember what season it is with Joanna. So yeah. look, she's she's a name for the heavyweights. I'm not really sure about these guys. You know, Maurice Green. That's a name. That's a beard and a half as well. That's well, interesting. You'll see cards, isn't it? Isn't it? Like, is you, you always get the, the two d- different type of cards. In what sense? So, in the sense that uh, you get like you know the, the title fight, mm. or you'd get the um, yeah the the name, the draw, you know, which is Connor at this stage. Yeah. Um, look, oh, let's get circle back on that. But I definitely agree. So, yeah. so women's bantamweight co-main. By the way, none of these fights are for a title. Um, yeah. Which They're which not. is which is interesting in itself. Uh, Holly Holm. Holly Holm, you know, she Holly Holm's a name. Beat Ronda Rousey. So how long ago was that? That was a while back. That's a while. Come on, let, <laughs> mate. It's a while back. Yeah. Rachel Pennington. Um, yeah, look. If if you're a hardcore MMA fan, you, you'd Ra- probably have heard her name. Raquel. Yeah, Raquel. Sorry. Raquel. Sorry, Ra- 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 Raquel. <laughs> if, if you're if you're listening, which you probably are, because this is the place to be. Oh yeah. Yeah. Anyway, look. You know. Holly Holmes a name. Raquel ha- has been there, so you know it, it's yeah, a good it, fight. It, it is a weak cut, mate. It's, McGregor is the this is the, the, is the reason for this. Is the, is the pulling oh. power? So then, at, and at the top, we've got Connor and, and Cerrone. Yeah, mate, that's the card. Th- that is the card. Basically. <laughs> that is you the card. Just as a show for that, I think a lot of people are just um, watching that fight. Um, they're not really. Uh, mate, doing much with the others. Look, this like is how the UFC fans. works, right? Yeah. In Australia, you. You find that your nearest local, you know. <laughs> like I don't know a lot of blokes that you, you know buy the pay per view, yeah, but no, no, no. it's like fifty to sixty dollars. Sixty up bucks, fifty four. I, I don't know. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. They've got a new, you know, it's around that price. Yeah. Basically, the short is you could buy through YouTube. <clears throat> yes. Uh, you you remember the days where you could buy through YouTube? Yes. And, and, and there's UFC Fight Pass as well. Yes, but UFC Fight Pass doesn't have the pay per view. Oh, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It has like wow. fight night and all the nonsense. Like, um, so I think ages ago, um, you know, I was I subscribed to the UFC Fight Pass, and it did because it had the CM Punk fight. Yeah, um, but the CM Punk that, that was a UFC card. That was a pay per view. Yeah, 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 it was, yeah, yeah. I, I think they brought him, and when he had so piss ass showing, they, they must have. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah, we can talk about that too. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he got clonked. But uh, yeah, um, the pay per views were on that, so I don't know if that's changed now with some rights so. or. Or maybe main event. I don't think it was ever. I could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Look, let's definitely revisit that. But, mate, look, I think there's a very strategic reason that this fight, this card rather is as weak as it is. And it's because the UFC is a business. And Dana White, man, you say what you want about the guy, but as a businessman, you you want him running your business. Because um, oh, yeah. he's a very savvy... He's one of the best a, promoters we've got going today. Yeah, he's, 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 he's there and he wants... Did you know that he, he actually wants to have a boxing promotion as well? Really? Yeah. He loves boxing. He's okay. a combat... He's, he's from a Boston, guy, yeah, man. He's yeah, just, yeah. just probably throwing knuckles <laughs> over there. I think there's like some documentaries on him and, he, yeah. and like his upbringing. But he loves, he's a fight fan, period. But yeah. like, I guess that's a whole other story. But really what they want to, to check here is the pulling power of Conor McGregor, right? Yeah. It's been around three years since he's been there. So he's obviously it's still been three years. around. Around three years. The Khabib fight was three years. I believe so. Okay, we can check it now. So, wow. So yeah, mate, I think essentially what the UFC are doing is the ultimate, you know, in marketing, we call it a split test. Yeah. So if they had, you know, Max Holloway, um, Jesus, I don't know, Cody Garbrandt, these are not, not the biggest stars, but they had other stars there, it'd be very hard for them to isolate just how much pulling power they had, right? Yeah. So this way, they've, it's a depleted card. There's, there's no yeah. other way you can, you can see it that way, right? Yeah, but I think it's depleted for a reason. Yeah, that, for that. For Dana White testing. He's testing. He's, he's testing, smart. man. He's a smart guy, man. So that's, they, his, that's one of his assets. He's, he's seeing whether it still works. They pull anywhere close to uh, the pay-per-view numbers that... I mean, I don't think you can even... You can look at Conovus could be, but like... No, nothing's pulling that. Uh, but, you know, I, I think they'd be happy if they can get 60% of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the thing is, they've got a financial buffer. Because when they sign with ESPN, uh, they get, they're getting guaranteed bank at a certain number. Oh, okay. That's how it works. Wow. So, it's kind of like playing with house money. I'm pretty sure that financially, they, they still need to hit certain numbers. Yeah. There's an well, expectation. Definitely. So, you definitely don't want to sabotage it. But I think... It's been created. He's a very savvy businessman, Dana. That it's been created in such a way that 
he he really wants to see that. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Yeah. It's going to be fun to see how everything lines up. Well, that, that, it's fascinating. To, like, the, from a casual point of view, it's a, it's a fascinating look into where the Connor can pull and draw numbers in. Again. He can pull. Um, if he's winning. If he's winning, yeah, that's the thing. But now that he's been away for two years mm. um, and he, the last fight he lost, mm. um, can he? But the, 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 the thing is, see, Connor has sort of always been in the news. That's the thing. Yes. You know what they say, though? So he's There's he's no been, you know he's been there. Like, any publicity know. is good publicity, right? Yeah. So and the, like the last fight that he had was one that turned into that drama fest at the end, which yep. I liked. <laughs> well, the casual fan loved it. Yeah, loved um, it. So went there on is, the there news, went on ESPN. There is course. intrigue into what he's what he is like right now because it's been two years since that, and everyone wants to know. So it, they could draw a good number because of that. They will draw numbers. Yeah. It's just how good it'll be, right? Yeah, yeah. So. You know what everyone loves? What? Everyone loves a redemption story. Yeah, dude. Everyone loves a redemption story. And Connor's playing the part right now. If you look at look at the way the lead up to everything, the way Connor's uh, where Connor's mind is at the moment. Yeah, it looks like the guy that's playing the redemption story. It's a, <laughs> what other story can you play? Yeah, he's look the well, US, he can still be the the, yeah, the, the, the villain. Yeah, the he, villain he could. And, I think there's there's an maybe ele- maybe he saw maybe he thought that that's sort of it's running thin runs course yeah, it's run its course there's an element yeah in human nature when he was coming up he was young he was brash yeah he he didn't you know he was tasting and, all and this success the, the, there's also a thing that like that could be for a reality check for him as well yeah a big reality check mate he yeah. wasn't he's not as good as he thinks he is sometimes Connor. Yes, yeah. yeah. Look, the, there's the fighting element. Yeah, there's the fighting element of it. Um, yeah, it he, was a reality him and sa- he himself said that that happened around the time where he was um, promoting Proper 12. <laughs> it's really <laughs> not Proper 12. It's not Proper 12. I don't know why you keep saying hey, it. Hey, man. I, I need to get that plug. <laughs> need to get that plug. Connor, yeah. when you're listening. Gonna get that YouTube money. <laughs> Proper 12 hit me up. Um, yeah, he, he drank in that press conference. Yes, he, he did. <laughs> he was the Khabib one, right? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. You he did that? it on purpose. Made that suit. To piss that's, off. That's a, he did it on purpose to piss suit. off Khabib. Of course he did. Um, but what I mean is he was drinking. He wasn't taking it as seriously. Uh, uh, yeah, which, true. Which you just don't understand. It's either one of two things. It's one, one where he generally thought he was miles ahead better than Khabib. Or one where he generally thought that, and this worked very well well with Jose Aldo because, and generally that's another yeah. fight I'd love to see yeah, again. Yeah, that'd be good. I think that'd be a really good I fight. I still want to see Diaz again with Connor. Everyone wants to see Diaz. I, but that Jose Aldo fight holds a lot of intrigue. But what I mean is he really got under Aldo's skin. Yeah. Aldo came in emotionally, cocked him. Yeah. So I think he was actually, so it's either one of two things. He generally think thought at that time that he was miles and miles ahead better. So I have this theory. So I have to theory that Connor. Um, when he knows that technically he feels like he is superior or not superior he's, he's, he's inferior when he feels he's technically inferior he has to play the mind game to another level so that's why I think Ooh. that's why I that's think he was going at them at, that's like you're going potentially crazy because he went hard. the more crazier he goes yeah, that's the more fair. inferior I think he, Mate, he thinks he is you have to go back and see the the Aldo thing but the the Aldo um Press I'm a big conference. fan of Connor, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm I, I, think, a, I don't think there'd be a lot of people. No, that I'm aren't. a massive, I'm a massive Connor fan. Um, I just think, yeah, I can see, I can see what he's doing from. Uh, that's from actually that a, perspective. That's actually an interesting point, and it's quite, yeah, counter. In, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, I've, I've never thought you, of it that you way. You got to play the mind games. If you don't feel like you're technically there, yeah, in a fight, you have to play the mind games. Makes sense. Uh, so look, UFC two four six is. Is high stakes, man. Yeah. It's like do or die now. Definitely. Cerrone is a tuna fight. As good as he is, he is a tuna fight. He's a tune up fight. Sorry, tuna. <laughs> a tuna, tuna man, fight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so it's a fight that. It's a protein. <laughs> yeah, it's a protein fight. It's a fight that you you bring in someone. You you, you don't put him against a shark straight off the bat. That's right. Yeah. Man. Yeah. And he he's Cerrone is good enough to to draw people as well. Yeah. Uh, but he's not that upper echelon of fighter. Mm. So that's essentially what this is, and really the cards are stacked for him to perform, and mate, he has to perform. Like this. Well, no, this is the stage if he wants to get to that next level. High stakes. If he beats Connor, yeah, he's yeah. Dana's got to look at him. It, yeah, it, he's got to give him a look after that. It's yeah, yeah. 
Like, it's not going to be the money fight. He's definitely not going to headline if, if he loses. No, no, no. Yeah. I don't think he will. No, he, he, he'll be done if he loses, I think. 100%. 100%. Did you watch the press conference? No, I didn't actually. Uh, was, how was it? Was it? What did, it what was it? very un like Yeah, this is just going on. Well, was it more like... You know what? Let's, um, let's play. Yeah, so what it was, yeah, was um, very subdued. Yeah? Yeah, so... Let's see. You see. I've seen some of the promos and some of the like the way that Connor's acting. It, it, he is trying to like. I don't know. If, I always think Connor's trying to play a character. Yep. But I think he's trying to play the one where he's like, you know, he's trying to not be that loud, you know, abrasive guy. He's just trying to. Let's check this out, um, right? So you have three minutes of highlights. He's trying to do a redemption story and very focused. Okay. <laughs> Monday dot com. Monday night spreadsheets. <laughs> All right, let, let's ch- check some of these exits out, right? Yeah, let's go quickly so we don't get that strike from YouTube. <laughs> hey, look at that suit. Yeah, he's, he's good with the suits. No, not for that. I'm just in a good spot. That's it. I don't think I'll change or alter or... or you know. <laughs> he has changed. He's, he's, he's lying to himself. He's changed. He still has that same Rolex. He has definitely... <laughs> Starts off with a bleep. Yeah. Hey, look at that jacket. Is that like alligator? Um, snake skin, I believe. Snake skin. Yeah, he said it. Yeah, it's it's not the same. And it's not a bad thing. It's just no, it's a different a different part. Yeah, he's trying to show that he's matured. Maybe he has. Or maybe he's not an act. You know. Mate, he doesn't want to see any lick of Usman. I can tell you that. <laughs> what do you think Usman will? Usman is like Khabib on... Okay, Usman, for those who don't know, is like Khabib Black Panther version. Yeah. I'm not even joking. Hey, mate. <laughs> yeah, look, just just trust me. Yeah. He does not want to see a lick of Usman. Yeah, Kamaru Usman. Kamaru Usman. Kamaru. What a name. So that's the same, that's the same Usman. Uh, weight class, is it? No, no, no. That's the welterweight. Um, oh, okay. It's true. Yeah. Connor's feather, isn't he? Yeah. Mate, he doesn't want, he doesn't want to see this guy, mate. <laughs> this is, this is, I'm coming for you. you we watched this. We watched this. Yeah, 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 we did. Yeah. He doesn't sure. want a lick of Usman. No. no. Anyway, look, the short of it is, yeah, this is, this is a crossroads, mate. Yeah, it is. This is boom, boom. Like bone thugs and harmony. Like <laughs> your high stakes, your crossroads, whatever, however you want to slice and dice it. Ooh. Uh, he needs to win this and the UFC has have aligned the stars and from here if he does win it they flow a lot of fights right yeah so Tony and Khabib which is the fight the, the fight we want to see yeah. man that's that's, an, that, Tony Ferguson that's a is. three hour podcast in itself because I'm, <laughs> I'm an El Kakui fan oh El Kakui in the house no but that that's definitely the fight but the reason he said that the reason he's taking this at a higher weight class yeah is that he was already at this weight Oh, okay. So he doesn't want to lose the weight. He doesn't want to lose the weight. It's true. So he does, but also, because for some reason, he feels that the fight with Tony and Khabib is not going to go through. Oh, really? Be- in the sense that this fight has been postponed five times now already. Why? Because it, ever, every time they try to do it, something happens. So either Khabib missed weight. L- last time it happened, Tony had a freak accident. Like he was walking to the press conference and tripped on something and he oh. ruptured it. It's just random shit that just keeps happening. Yeah. So they're like, you know, it's a charm now. If it, but what happens in any of these big fights is they all they have an alternate yeah. that goes to as a backup. Oh, okay. Because it's very it's it's finicky, right? In, yeah. In the sense that if you're Firstly, Khabib and Tony is going to be a massive fight. That'd Probably the, massive it fight. is the biggest fight of the year as at now, right? Yeah. Until Conor wins and like they, they, they can promote that yeah. and build it up. But the short of it is um, Conor wants to be that alternate. So oh. he thinks that based he on his he history... Mate, if Dana loves him. Dana's like the... Ch- imagine, mate. Well, for, for, for Tony? For, for Tony and versus Khabib. If any of those guys drop out, he wants, he wants to in. be there, right? Obviously, I, I don't think they'll do it with Khabib. They want to build it up more. That that's fair. That's that's fair. I think they'll they'll do it if Khabib drops out. Um, Tony if it drops out. No, if, if Khabib drops out, 
then it's uh, Tony versus Connor. Yeah. Then I think they'll do it, but I don't think they'll do because it because you think if, there's if, there's more if legs. Tony drops out. Then that's then actually it. a very good point. Yeah. I didn't think of it like that because they want to build the next Connor as could be too like it's like bad it blood five thousand. For him. Mate, want you know what? Really like based on that. the new Connor, it's probably gonna be like. <laughs> Respectful. <laughs> <laughs> no problem at all for you. It won't be problem at all. Which like some yeah, protein juice or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I like wrestling. Um, <laughs> them bears be good in Dagestan. <laughs> Dagestan, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Look. Yeah. Look. It, it's it's high stakes, man. Hmm. It's high stakes. Um, so look, the actual fight itself. Yeah. Um, thought about it, picked it up, and it's. On the surface, these are two really skilled strikers, right? Yeah. And it it can really generally go on all any way, right? Yeah. Um, Connor can win, Cerrone can win, but like this is what I've really picked up as the the four keys that we need to to look at to really see, you know, how the fight plays itself, right? Yeah. And the first one is what version of Connor we'll see, right? So what I mean by that, Connor in his earlier fights. Uh, earlier fights in the UFC against Poirier, against Eddie Alvarez, yeah. his first initial engagement, uh, as I say, really determined what sort of mood he's in. And what yeah. I mean by that is, in Eddie Alvarez, when he won the lightweight fight, he was very loose. So a yeah. striker needs to be fluidly loose, yeah. right? So he, so he does that. These these ones, as I, as I call it, the paw, yeah, to poor, establish yeah. like the distance. It's yeah. equivalent to a jab for him, right? Yeah. So h- how loose he is will really determine, like, how, and, and you got to understand, he's coming back from two years, circa two years. That That's going to play a big part. I don't care if you're training every fucking day. It's very different to, to be in an actual, in an actual fighting fight. game. In game right? that's, that's not like, the, it matters how good his, his sparring is. Sparring, basically. Um, I, I agree. I agree. Um, is it as intense as a fight would be because that's where a lot of fighters fail aren't they? sparring is not meant to be like there are two schools of thought in training as a whole one is iron sharpens iron and you should just fucking let me at it let's yeah, let's yeah. go yeah. Put, put the gloves on and let's go at 90 yeah. percent. but the new school is that stupid because you're not it's not a video game and yeah. injuries actually occur inspiring yeah, inspiring true, true. so yeah. really what you want to do in sparring is you probably want to arrange sparring in a way where you have those intense moments, though, but those are very few and far between. Yeah. What you want, and 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 Connor as a fighter, he's he's always said that precision beats power. So he's his modus operandi is picking you apart. Yeah. So he's a counter striker, but a counter striker that also engages to to get the counter striker yeah. that makes sense. So in the case of Aldo, it was dramatic because. He came at him and he just popped him. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't even a big thing, right? Yeah, that, doesn't, Eddie, that doesn't take much strategy. <laughs> well, the strategy was actually the the, war, the mental games that he played yes. before. Because it, yes, and that's, that was that's the strategy. The, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's the, the, that's the 3D. Mental side of it. That's yeah. really 3D, right? Yeah. Look, homeboy is really focused, right? Yeah. Um, high stakes. Yeah. Ain't no time for bullshit. No the time the for stakes bullshit. are there. So, so I do expect him to come in really bouncy. Hmm. Establishing that paw, establishing the jab, yeah. uh, throwing those, those feints, and, and, and that to me will really tell the tale of the tape. Because when, when he's at his best, he's very. Uh, yeah, ba- w- what's the word? He, he he finds that distance very quickly. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like he usually gets the dominating position in in that. Exactly, um, exactly. And, and he gets that early as well. Interestingly enough. Um, his damage is actually done at a lot of close quarters. And I know like that, what I mean by that is, um, Jose Aldo come in, boom, yeah. um, uh, Eddie Alvarez, just in, in the, in the pocket, he's yeah. actually a very in the pocket counter, counter puncher. Mm. So that engagement needs to happen, but to set all that up is all that distance management. Yeah. Um, and you see these looping left and lo- looping right. So, I think that's really going to be important. Like what version of it? Yeah, definitely. And and built on that is the energy management. Because the knock on Connor is his cardio is... His cardio is shit, right? basically. Yeah. <laughs> is, this, is this a three-round fight? Five-round fight? This? I'm not sure. I think yeah. it is a... You'd know. think it'd be a three-round fight, right? <laughs> that's, uh, you know, main events... Main events usually a five, though. Yeah, I think... So no, uh, yeah, yeah. 
Um, yes, it's a two four six main event. It, it, it's got to be a five round fight. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be a five round fight. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they could. That's I don't think they could do three rounds for the main. Yeah, five event. rounds. It's a five so all the main fight. main events are five rounds. Yep, should have known that. But yeah, basically, the longer it goes, the more it favors Cerrone. That's the thing. Yeah, so he wants to be in a dog fight. But it, again, it has been two years since we've seen Connor. His yes. cardio might have gone up uh, a lot, but the way that the you know human body works, the older you get, it's uh, tougher to do, <laughs> tougher to get that cardio on that level. Hundred percent. And um, and the thing about yeah cardio is the thing with fighting is you can have the best trainers and this is where the yeah. best fighters are able to implement. It's very hard to make adjustments to a game plan on the fly. Yeah. If they kind of make sense. Yeah. So for example, if I've hurt you, my initial reaction will be to come for the kill. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And no matter how much, if my corner says slow down, don't expend your energy. There's a fight or flight mechanism that overrides that. Yep. Right. That's so right. similarly, if if he's used to fighting and the energy management element is he, by all accounts, throws every a lot of things in his strikes. Right. Yep. So Nate Diaz, pow, 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 60 percent, 60 percent, yeah. 55, 45, where Connor is like, it's going to be 98. It, 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 it'll happen less. Yeah. But like that, that, that's why he conk like he hit he hits really hard. Right. With, with yeah. that left. Right. So it'll, it's really about managing that energy and, and seeing how it is, because he's a fast starter. So yeah. he's a slow starter. Yeah. So the, the, they're on opposite ends of the spectrum there, yeah. right? Yeah. So really how quickly uh, or how good, well he can manage his energy, it is really going to be telling a tale because in the na- <coughs> second... You know, what, what, we've, what we've seen in a lot of Conor fights recently is he just tries to go for the kill in the first couple of rounds. Well, absolutely. Because <laughs> yeah. he knows his cardio shit. Yeah. Um, so he yeah. just tries to go for the strike. Yeah. But yeah, maybe this one, it is going to go to five rounds and he better prepare for that. I hope he has prepared for that. Who knows? Like yeah. in the end of the day, they're both scrappers and yeah, who knows? Yeah. So the energy levels are going to be really important. I think specifically yeah. for Connor, just because the knock on him is his card. Yeah. yeah. It's not good. So if we look at the tail of the tape, yeah. um, do we see any advantages there in terms of... <laughs> Surprisingly so. not. Their heights are similar. 5'9 for McGregor, 6'1 for Cerrone. The reaches yeah. are the same. So this is the interesting thing, right? So Cerrone is a natural welterweight yeah. in that he's fought the majority of his fights there, right? Yeah. So how the, the the weight stuff works is they get weighed a day prior to the fight, yeah. and then you can go nuts. Like you can, so you can keep eating, right? Yes, that's correct. So yeah. what it means is if if you're fighting in a weight class that's not natural there, you're actually starving your body because the quickest way to lose weight is water yes dehydrating right. yourself yeah. right because decent chunk of your weight is yeah, water, yeah. right so that's why it makes sense to fight in your weight class so the thing about that is the reaches and stuff are actually quite similar which yeah. really surprises me because cowboy looks the bigger guy yeah I guess the, th- the thing I'm, I'm looking at right now is sort of standing out is the age difference there so we're only at, at 36 yeah and uh, Connor at 31, is that going to make any difference? You think, I, I believe the, the older you get, you, the reflexes start to get slower. That's um, fair. Yeah, you know, the hand-eye coordination is a bit he's, slower. He's um, definitely got more tires on the tread, yeah. but I'll, I'll give it, I'll, I'll give you a different sort of perspective. Yeah. In that fighting in any element and striking is, is like muscle memory, right? Yeah, true. Yeah. So in the sense that Cerrone has been the more active fighter, I yeah. can't even like count how many, he's the most active fighter in the UFC, right? It's a company man. Yes. So true. what I mean is, that's why his record's got 36. Uh, correct. Cause he's simply had more ch- bites of the pie. Look, yeah. if, you, if you total that, he's fought like close to 50 times. versus yep. 25 in the UFC alone. Yeah. Right. Yep. So yeah, sorry that that would be his, his totality of thing. But I guess what I'm saying is, uh, there's the element of having, a lot more kilometers on the car yeah. which is Cerrone like a lot more battle scars yeah, as, as you said you need to have like if Connor's come after two years yeah um, there is rust yeah so and then there's the other element of rhythm right yes so punching slipping and ripping yeah. is, is rhythm and we yeah. saw this with Whitaker versus Adesanya yeah. so in the first round of Whitaker versus Adesanya the stats told that they landed the same amount of punches yeah but if you were just watching that you'd say Fuck man, like Whitaker's missing a lot. Yeah. Because so basically they they hit they threw the same amount of punches, but as a percentage his strikes were piss weak. 
He was yeah. missing a lot. He was swinging. And what what's that? That's um. That's ring rust. That's ring rust, and that's, that's just it timing. Timing, yeah. It's like cricket. That's that's why it, yeah, everything is timing. It, everything is timing, it's and timing. everything in, in cricket. Obviously, if you if you don't play for a while, you're getting back. It's rust. It, it it's takes rust. a while. It's it, rust. It takes a while. Connor will have that rust two years out of there. You'll see. You you'd think it'd have that rust, but in the other way, Cerrone is all guns go. He's just fought a couple of months ago. Yeah, yeah. That's so the the, so those things kind of yeah. you know balance themselves out. Yeah. And in, in the energy management, I think what's really imp- interesting is weight. Okay. And, and why weight is interesting is Cerrone has a bigger frame. So I don't know how many more ki- kilograms heavier he will be when he, he, he goes out. Yeah. But if you think about it, it's the same as if you add, you know, if you play a sport and you add a couple more kilos yeah. and that sport requires you to run and that you'll feel it. It's yeah, different. It's a different yeah. dissipation of thing. It means that... Put, so, so when Cerrone and and, Cal, and Connor rather had uh, like their their little interchange in a press conference earlier back in the day, and that's the history that Connor keeps mentioning. Also, oh, they have a history. Mate, history is a very loose way of saying it. They <laughs> they, they they verbally sparred, you know, in a press conference that yeah. had like freaking seven to eight people, right? So, uh, okay. The the what Connor said is like because he was a featherweight then, right? Yeah. He's like, you lightweights are too slow. So what he's referencing is the lower weight classes, it's all action. Yeah. The, the smaller, they're lighter, they can, they can punch, they can right? Run, yeah. But the lightweights are probably the, the middle of that, if that kind of yeah. makes sense. So he, he, was, he was hinting of a speed advantage that he'll have. Yeah. So they're now equalized in weight. He doesn't necessarily have, have that, that speed advantage, advantage no, no. right? Doesn't. And it's more that if you're used to fighting, he's actually used to fighting two weight classes lower his initial weight class is 145 versus 177 so this is where so he started is, off yeah, it's, a yeah, yeah, it's a noticeable difference and if you start off fighting here your energy dissipation and like how you throw is different it's different or yeah. more importantly power is different at this rate so what yeah, is definitely. powerful here is not necessarily powerful there no but you, you've got to layer it and now here's the same thing. So th- that's why this energy management, it encompasses not only cardio, yeah. it encompasses ha- how he... Uh, and his first fight against Nate was at 177. Oh, okay. That, that was the first time he actually went up. As and a- that's the one where he himself noted, I threw too, too hard in my punches. Yeah. So energy management is a yeah, real yeah, thing. True. And he struggled with that before. Even <laughs> we even go back to the Floyd fight. Uh, I'd say that the energy management there was... Not great, but that was a, basically a, well. Floyd a is celebrity fight. It wasn't really. Yeah, that, it was an exhibition, but it's a new sport. Yeah, it was a new sport it's for us. New well. sport. Yeah. Yeah, so, energy management will yeah. definitely be interesting. The third thing, mate, that I've noticed that I think is going to be really important is how much variation in the attack for both fighters, and I think specifically, Cowboy. And the reason I say that is both of these guys want to stand and bang, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you're interested in winning this fight, you do everything to to stack your cards in the deck that allow you to win, right? Yeah. So we know that Connor's strength is stand up. Yeah. We know that you know you could say the same thing for Connor. Sorry, Cerrone. Yeah, that his strength is stand up, but um, his stand up is arguably not as good as Connor's, right? Arguably, agreed. Agreed. Arguably, True. Right? Yeah. So if you're cowboy. You want to take him to the ground. You saw how much success Khabib, Khabib had. had. And not that. saying yeah. that that's easy. Actually, it's not that easy. I, I went back and saw the Alvarez fight and Alvarez actually tried to engage. You can't... I mean, Khabib is like... Other, he, hasn't, he hasn't been defeated, so he's no. like otherworldly. Yeah, otherworldly right? in terms but of wrestling. I mean is, the wrestling side yeah, of it, yeah. If you're a striker and you wrestle, you need to engage him here before you... Ta- you just can't simply take no. him down. It's not you have happen. to be really... Ta- like, uh, really um, you got to chain it. you got you got to chain wrestle it, but you have to, you have to be really talented in that wrestling. Absolutely. There's so, no, you can't just start out with correct, takedowns. Correct. It's not gonna. It's not gonna work. But what's really, what I see really, if Cowboy is to win it, is he needs variation in his tack than simply standing and banging. He just can't try striking. He can't stand and bang. Like he's he. The, the thing is, Connor is a more polished striker, right? Yeah. So yeah. if they go in the pocket, it's gonna favor Connor because yeah. he's gonna have these short hits, and and uh, uh, arguably his his twitch is better. Yeah, right? yeah, he, yeah. He's gonna win those exchanges, Definitely. right? That's not to say that Cerrone has has a bad chin like 
He'll probably take a bit, but like it's not a video game, mate. Like there's only <laughs> a couple of uh, a couple of times that you can keep taking that a video game right here. Game over. <laughs> game over, mate. It's over. <laughs> but 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 mate, like I guess I guess what I'm saying is, if I'm Cerrone, even if your intention is not to take him on the ground, because Cerrone's a black belt, man. He ain't no chump. Yeah, yeah, brother's yeah. good on the ground. Yeah. If he he said in every interview, whether this is like just an absolute smokescreen is another thing. He said that he doesn't want to take him to the ground. Like he. Prefers what, Cowboy said bank. it. Cowboy said it, right? So it could be a a smoke screen. It could mind be. games. But I actually my, uh, that's more that it could be. To me, everything is mind games. It could be, but like <laughs> history repeats itself, right? Yeah. You only yeah. have to look at all of Cerrone's fights to know that, like, generally, this guy loves standing and banging. He loves entertaining the crowd. He's he is literally like the people's champ. I'm not even joking. Like, yeah, it's he, a stri- he, it's a, everyone wants to see two guys the, just the striking. It, yeah, right? that's, that's so, the, so he wants to provide the casuals want to see that. He definitely <laughs> wants to provide that and he wants to win in that manner. Yeah. Uh, and he doesn't engage the, the grab, the grappling, right. Or the, or the takedowns. But yeah. to me, if he wants, wants to win it, yeah. he needs to provide variety. Yeah, he needs definitely. to give a different look because if, if, if it's going to be a straight stand up engagement, you, you would say that the tools that Connor have, how, how good is that proper 12? Shout out proper 12. <laughs> Shout out to proper 12. Um, <laughs> is, yeah, it, it's, it's really important. So if I'm, I'm Cerrone's coach, this is what I'm telling him. Yeah. Go in, shoot a takedown straight away. Wait, wait, don't go all Ben Askren and get, your, <laughs> get fucking baptized. In. No, no, that's not what I'm saying, but give the variation to show it. Show the level change and I'll tell you why. So as to the first point, what version of Connor you see, we'll see. Yeah. So this is this is where I disagree. All right, here you go. this is where I think uh, I think Sir Cowboy needs to take take the fight at least into the, into the third round. Yeah. Then do something like that. Then do the then go at him. Maybe even straight away in the third round. Yeah. Uh, go at him with the with the tackle. I think he needs to take it at least in the third round. Why? Um, I, I just think Connor the cardio is not there after two years of ring rust. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's gonna he's gonna fail after two rounds. That that. That's definitely makes sense yep. if the actual outcome is to take him down and ground and pound him. Yep. So, so my thing is, th- this takedown is not to complete the takedown. It's to say straight off the bat that you uh, can take. You need it. to think yeah, about this. Yeah. You know what I mean? He probably is still thinking about the takedown stuff if, from Khabib. If, yeah, if you do that as your first call of yeah. action, yeah, it sends a message. You'll absolutely be bamboozled. It sends a message. And all definitely. you and the, the important point is all you got to do is see how worried he was with Khabib yep. versus any other fighters because the comfort level is Conor goes in thinking that this is a striking match. He can bounce around like fucking yeah. packy, like he he can. He can go on Muhammad Ali because he is not worried about the takedown. No. You throw that as your first wrinkle. It changes it up. It change, yeah, you, true you don't have to complete it. No. You just have to show him, mate. The threat is You there. need to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and if that's the there. first thing you do, it's paradigm shift, right? Yeah. You come in, you start engaging. Because then he's going to start thinking shit. Correct. Correct. Like, you're, then, you're playing, then you're playing the mind game. As well. like, Absolutely. You're like, oh, dude, and that's the fighting I struggled mind against the takedowns with Khabib. Yeah. Yeah, I, well, don't I don't want to get taken down. I don't want to get taken down here. I don't want to get taken down by Khabib or anybody no, for that no. factor of a matter. No, no, so, no, so that's, that's why I that's think that's a good that, strategy. I, I, actually, no, I agree and with really you. And really, what he needs to to mix up, I think, what's really underrated is like Taylor. The tape says that they're very similar. Yeah. Clinch. Muay Thai. He needs to make it very ugly game. So he needs yes. to hug the guy, get him against the yeah, thing, definitely. just make it really choke him. Like what? What? What did Khabib? Khabib just choked the just will choked, out of yeah. him. It was, it was, it was, like. Just bear hugged him for like three. three well, no, no, no. He, he, remember that overhand right that he did? Yes, yes, and yes. And yes. the, the only reason that he did that overhand right because he's he doesn't strike. Man. No, no, like that. That's a fucking like. Yeah, look, the only reason he did it was because of the threat of the takedown. Connor yes. said it himself. Yeah. Like he was so obsessed over not getting taken down. Yeah. That like he put his hands down and he, he got conked. He definitely wasn't expecting that. No, no. So it wasn't. the variation in the attack will be really important because if you're gonna go straight up one to one, like the odds are you'd probably lose. He'd probably lose. Cowboy probably lose. Yeah, most likely. Mate, and the last one is will the you know I think will the weight implications have any like implications? Basically, will the weight implications? <laughs> so so what was Connor's weight in the Khabib fight again? They fought at lightweight. Lightweight. So he would have been around the one... Four, so 155. 155. Yeah. So he's put on an extra 20, 22 for this... Um, Correct. Pounds. Uh, so what I mean is it, it goes back to that energy uh, management... That's the thing. Anticipation, it, right? Like, can, can Connor adjust to that weight 
in a fight. Yeah, I mean, well, he can because he's he's fought it with Nate. Yes, he's fought it with Nate. And but when your loss was at one fifty five, your recent loss. Yeah. Um, and then you go up in in that, you know, you sort of feel a little bit slower. Yeah. So is that going to play a part in this um, mentally? Basically, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to see where mentally Connor is. Um, will that play a part in that? You know, we like you know, do you feel like you're slow, or does he feel like he's yeah he's good? It, that's the thing. It's all going to go down to the, the energy management and the cardio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like let, let's go through this point. So what version of Connor we'll see? That's highly dependent on him, right? So yeah. we know that it's a stand-up fight. Yeah. So arguably, he'd go in with a comfort level and to be able to do those fancy things to yeah. establish the the distance management and arguably throw that. So, but then that that's dependent upon what sort of variation he receives from Cerrone early on, right? Yeah. Cerrone shoots for a takedown and he doesn't get baptized like Askren did. Then then maybe he's showing them a different look. Cerrone holds him in the clinch and and gives him very different look. These yeah. are things that are like a lot of. Of UFC fighters don't really really see no no, um, no and really the energy like Connor's a fast starter like Cerrone's a, a slower starter yeah. like is Cerrone gonna adjust is history gonna play itself and if so does that mean that um, yeah how will they both react to it I think it's absolutely fascinating yeah it'll be interesting to see actually so I'm um, pretty hyped about it'll be the a good fight, fight. to see what I just want to see where Connor's at yeah. mentally, and yeah. um, he seemed mentally. He looks like he's focused. He's focused. Focus um, is definitely the word. But that's what is imparting. The thing with Connor, I don't know whether this is a character or if he actually is. But he looks like he is focused. He can be a focused character. <laughs> you, you don't have to be like the same kumquat. No <laughs> I just think Connor's playing. He, he's he he knows how to promote a fight. He's so playing games. Yeah, he's playing the game. Nigga be playing games. Yeah. All right. Okay. So prediction: Who do you think is going to win, and why, and what round? How is it going to happen? That's very detailed. Let's, let's get specific. So if you're going to put, you know, your hard and 20 bucks, uh, uh, what are you going to put, put it I'll put Connor in? Yep. in the second round. Second strike. Round. He's going to strike. He's going to strike him. He's going to, going to KO him. Yeah. KO him. Uh, KO. KO or TKO? TKO. Yeah. So it's going to conquer him down. The ref's going to stop him. Yeah. Yeah. Second round. That's what I, that's our second. It's going to be early. Yeah. Um, if, if he wins, is, it's going to be early. If he wins, early, right? it's going to be early. If... Cowboy takes it to the third or fourth. It's there. Uh, it's but you see bit, Connor winning. I see Connor winning. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see Connor winning. I think, um, yeah, Cowboy's got a lot of mileage uh, on him. Uh, he's he's a good fighter, mate. Actually, there's one thing that completely missed here, but I saw it online, and every obviously everything you see online is real it, it, it's the truth <laughs> oh, i love the internet man. but uh, according like i think it was in the ufc embedded uh cowboy had like a swell on his leg oh so that that changes things up, up man we got like, another five hours of content here <laughs> wait all right, man, right, right. look at this swell you gotta look you gotta magnify this what all is right, going right. on so we hold did on, not even talk on. about this swell. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, 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 swollen so leg this changes everything has injured leg <laughs> has injury right this changes everything because obviously Okay, so, okay, according to... Okay, mate, let's look at an MMA news. Donald Cerrone addresses injury speculation ahead of... So, we saw this at a UFC embedded where basically Ooh. the size of his boot was, like, astronomically big. And I don't care if you wear, He's like, fucking timber... Yeah, He's correct. taped it up. Insinuating that. Okay, Donald Cerrone, according to MMANews.com, has responded to concerns of his limp on the recent... <laughs> He was limping? His leg was, yes. Um, <laughs> Cowboy is set to take on Conor what? McGregor in the main event of UFC 246 this Saturday. Was this at the press conference? No, no, no. The action is being held inside the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Oh. So Cowboy Cerrone talks injury speculation. And many have speculated that Cowboy is hiding an injury after being seen walking with a limp. I mean, he just could have... Where had, was he seen walking with a limp? <laughs> he could have had a spare change. Was it Ariel Hawani and Cerrone? <laughs> Oh, real Hawani, mate. Cowboy address the situation. Shout out, shout out to Hawani. I knew that was going to come up. People are good. Put a little limp. What if I was walking with a drum? <laughs> or maybe stepped on a Lego. I got a kid now. <laughs> stepped, stepped on a Lego. That <laughs> that's, would that's, suck. No, no, mate, have you ever stepped on a Lego? It, it's painful, man. I was like, that would be a shitty way to have an It injury. depends on what Lego, because the new school ones are not that bad. Oh, really? Are they, uh, not I Lego? haven't stepped on a Lego in a while. But anyway, look. If he, if he's anyway compromised with his leg, obviously yeah. that's 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 a big thing. That that compromises your ability to to want to take down. I reckon Connor might try something with that. He might he might try what, take down. Hell no! Not take down. I think kick the motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, he might kick. He might kick. He might try weaken it a little bit. 
Yeah, you, you, you chopped that seat, tree. Right? You, you chopped the well tree. It, but yeah. yeah, no, 100%. But yeah. like, I guess it's another factor. It's yeah, another true, factor definitely. Yeah. Mate, look, it, it, it is generally a tough one just because it can, it can go a couple of ways. Yeah. Um, I, I see on totality, you know, the stars are lighting and us getting a, a, McGregor, a McGregor victory via TKO yeah. in the second round. I like the second round just because I think, I think you, you're, you're on the money. They go, these guys are going to feel each other out and especially Connor he's going to yeah. be a little he's going to be a little less trigger happy you still yeah. want to see the jumping you still want to see he's not doing anything in the first round you still want to see I think he'll, he's going to go for gold he's going to uh, he, nah, he's going to try the first round. he's going to try and engage yeah. but I think there's going to be that you know that careful hesitation yes because uh, yes. the stakes are high man. yeah yeah definitely man this, this the is stakes a, are high this is a fork in the road in Connor's career um, no way no two ways about it um, he he loses here. Yeah. He's out. He's out. He's not out. He's not out, out, but he... He's I out. think it's it's very tough for him. Mate, you better you better improve, you know, that the recipe for proper 12 because uh, I've heard it's not that good. Yeah. Shout out to proper 12. <laughs> uh, mate, we've done it. We've Podcast done it. Podcast number one. Podcast number one. That was good. That was good. Need more whiskey next time. Proper 12 whiskey. We, need, we definitely need more whiskey, mate. <laughs> Hope to see you guys in... Uh, Episode number two. Yeah. All right. See you then. See you then. Cheers.